Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Let's watch, and in my case, play the final chapter. Two chapters, correction, of Mafia. See? See, si, comprende. Be shield. Done. Let's go. Let's watch. Let's play. <coughs> Let's see what happens. Wish I could wear this hat over this. It just doesn't fit, though. You could wear it on top of it, but that looks... Yeah. Doesn't work. Plan stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. Say so a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. For the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. It will. Gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. We doing this? We're doing this. We doing this. Yeah. Exactly what I was gonna say. Damn right, Tommy. Everyone's down on the floor! Get the fuck down! Not you, ladies. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them! Get the manager! For a second. I need y'all to stay on the ground, see? Yeah, I need you to stay on the ground, see? Stay on the ground, we won't have any problems, see? Yeah, see? Yeah. I'm the bad guy from the 20s, see? Sorry for the blue screen, see? But I gotta make a chat room, see? Yeah. Without the chat room, you're not gonna hear me right, see? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I don't know. The audio should be fixed now, though. Let's kick some ass. Brown. I see movement. People start getting shot. I'll fucking start shooting motherfuckers right now for the fun of it. Sorry, Polly. I'm a bit of a psychopath. The kids tonight, right? No heroes. Not today. No kidding around. Not you just any door. <laughs> Got to be a specific door. Holly, where the fuck you want me to enter? It's upstairs. I'm going upstairs, Polly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get the fuck down. The money. Get the money. Don't kill the hostages. With me. You're too late down for that. To the I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. <clears throat> this make you feel big? Beating on a little guy. I'm gonna kill you it's when we're done. It's making feel rich, and the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. Hey, quit moving! You're making me nervous. When I get nervous, my how many guards at the ball? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep, Keep it moving. moving. You won't get away with this. Your sword never you. do. You just worry you about do. yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school? You keep your hands where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same.
remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot him! Where's that fucking manager? I see you. I'll fucking kill you. On him! Trying that shit. We don't play around here. No games. <clears throat> well, this is a game play. Tommy ain't playing no games. I ain't playing no games. Ain't no playing no games, see? Yeah. A magazine in one of these rooms. Pack of cigarettes, never mind. Marcano. Mar Marciano? Marciano? Rocky Marciano? Let's get some money. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh yeah. They have the same fucking shit in every Mafia game. You do this exact same thing in Mafia too. Fuck that, I'm killing them all. Yeah, 
Nice. Hold your fire, Polly. We lost. Club. Hey, it's empty right now. What he don't know can't hurt him. We're almost there, Tom. We've almost done it. It's still almost, Polly. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. Tommy, calm down. Not parked outside, though. You lost, Copper. I'm seeing no turn on red. Keep it moving, dude. You have the right of way. Move. 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 I'm going. Fucking guy. Don't know how to drive. I'm driving here. Fucking asshole. All right, Polly, let's get this money inside before anybody sees this. Fucking A. Like, nobody noticed this fucking wreck a heap of junk driving in here. Holy shit. We did it! I can't believe we fucking did it! We're loaded! We're loaded! Yeah. Loaded is right. For all time's sake. You get shot. Sure. We gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> All right, well, there's one chapter left to go. Let's do it. This is the finale, eh? I tell you what, though, I've been having a real bad tie day. Does that even sound right? That doesn't sound right. A bad tie day? I can't keep my tie straight. <clears throat> It just keeps folding up on me today. No matter. Back to it. Fucking thing. Death of Art, the final chapter. Let's watch. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what'd you do? Just feeling lucky, so. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That's on square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. 
You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Probably you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. You better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. I tell you something. He got his jacket done fucking quick, man. When the scene started, his sleeves was rolled up like mine, right? Now that the scene's over with, like, the second he put his jacket on, his sleeve cuffs were down past. If you look at the cuff of his suit, his shirt's past the sleeve of his jacket. So that means that within that, like, three seconds that he was out of frame, he rolled down both the sleeves buttoned them, and then threw on the jacket. This motherfucker is Speedy Gonzalez, I tell you. I tell you what. <clears throat> oh, a book. This is not a book, it's me. Tommy Angelo, huh? Let me take a look at this one, huh? I uh, mean, uh, Pretty sure Sam's a rat, by the way. Spoiler alert. I haven't played this game in, what, 18 years, but I'm pretty sure Sam's a rat. <sighs> oh, I could be wrong. I know we gotta kill Polly. That's what this last mission's gonna be. It's gonna be tough. We gotta do it. And then we get to the end. And if you haven't seen it already, I ain't gonna spoil it for you, but the ending is fucked up. There's no getting out of it. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. Simple as that. <clears throat> Make him an offer he can't refuse on. Huh? Don Salieri sends his regards. Turn the fan on for a second.
still here? Sicily, 1904, four-year-old Tommy with his family at the Velari Lambing Grove near the Port of Messina. Tommy's a father, was with a supervisor. Su yeah, the supervisor. Say that to your supervisor. You ain't no supervisor, you're just a supervisor. All you do is survey the poop. Excrement manager, I don't know. Fucking. I don't know where I was going with that one. It was off the rails the second I, uh... The <laughs> it was off the rails the second it departed. Oh, well. God, dude, why can't this thing just stay straight? I must super glue it to my fucking tie. OCD drives me fucking nuts sometimes. Anyway. Hey, Tommy! What's up with that? It's gotta be part of the picture, cause Tommy ain't got no scar like that on his face. In this picture, it looks like he's got a fucking huge scar on the side of his face right there, but that's just a picture. He ain't got no scar there. Man and wife, June 1934, so it's been four years. How old's her kid? I don't know. What is this? <sighs> Arrived at Empire Bay after a month at sea. You know what's interesting now that they remastered this game is it's all connected. New Bordeaux. I can't remember all the places. New Bordeaux. Empire Bay. Come on, I know the third one, man. Lost Haven? Is this... This is Lost Haven. Empire Bay and New Bardo. That's all three. Yeah, so it's right there in the name. I was trying to remember it without reading this, but then I seen it and I'm like, oh. Forget about it. I mean, his family arrived here in Empire Bay. After about a month at sea, on Christmas, oh that's nice, a nice little Christmas present to arrive in America, yeah, 1904. You know what's funny is they arrived actually four years before Salieri. <coughs> Fifteen years, at the Lost Haven Harbor. Lost Heaven? Lost Haven, I'm pretty sure. Typo. They got a typo in their newspaper. Pretty sure it's Lost Haven. Oh, come on now. Come on now, Tommy! You fucking up the house, man! <laughs> if you keep hanging around, you're gonna end up packing bags with me. Just warning you. I'll pack bags with you all night. Sorry. Can't control myself sometimes. Oh, the family. That's a sad picture. Bittersweet. Three of a kind. 
More like two of a kind. More like being stuck between a rock and a hard place if you catch my drift. <laughs> uh. Fucking Polly. The stairs blocked off? Must be blocked off for the kid. I hear that fucking parrot too. Is that like the neighbor's Boy parrot? My boyfriend, Paulie. He's not my boyfriend. He's still here? Not my boyfriend, Sarah. Stop it. It's gonna make me blush. Alright. So there's nothing else in here. Let's get it, we do. If you keep hanging around, you're gonna end up packing bags with me. Just warning you. Yep, I'm out. And on that note, I am out of here. Is this my car? What a piece of shit. Police say they still have no solid leads in the case of the audacious bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperial, <laughs> as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery, in which armed thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of dead, was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence, and although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, Despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. If he's unable to secure justice for those slain that day, and due to the violence meted out, it must only be a matter of time before the G-Men take over. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest musical numbers. Oh, that's a nice ride. Get the fuck out of the road. What are you doing? I'm just cruising looking for cars right now. Seeing what I want to drive. I think I might. Don't rush me, taxi. I'll get out and murder you. <laughs> oh, I see a bike. Just block up traffic here, fuck it. I'm taking this dude's wheels right here. Yo, bro. I'm this taking is mine. Car, lady. I'm real sorry. Oh, that's a lady, I ain't gonna kill her. This is nice one too. Almost ran right into a cop there, guy. I was gonna do skip drive, but I like this song, I ain't gonna lie. So we're gonna sit back, smoke a cigar, and drive around town. 
I'm kidding, this ain't no cigar. <clears throat> Selling the newspapers down here. I know I heard someone. I should have sworn it was on this side of the street. Look out! You look out. Where'd they go? I don't know where they were in the first place. neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. That's it. What a conversation. <laughs> you were ruckus last night. Nah, I'd been working nights. The guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. <laughs> Any magazines back here? already cracked that's no good let's check up the stairs real quick for an escape route Got your gun out. Ah, Jesus. Bali. Wait, what? I don't remember Polly dying like this. Was it Sam we kill in the end? It's gotta be. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Christ. That makes me feel bad. Fucking skull. Oh God! I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life. 
life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And, uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Shit, man. My memory is bad. I had this all backwards. It was Sam, not Polly. Fucking Christ. Polly. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Fucking Christ, man. God damn it, Polly. You and your stupid fucking bright ideas. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. Yeah. And that's my cue to leave. on the other side is always on the other side. When is it not on the other side? I don't know if I can fill it up during a mission though. I don't think I can. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. I still have yet to fill a vehicle up with gas. So, I don't know if it's that true to the original or not, but if it is, then I'll be very happy. I will shoot you. <clears throat> hey, I'm fucking driving here, huh? You beep your fucking horn at me again. You, you, you're driving at me. You're honking at me all wrong. You do it again. I have to stab you in the face with a soldering iron. Okay, okay. It's a different guy, I'll let it slide this time, but the next guy is getting the soldering iron. I'm getting it, he's gonna get it, I'm telling you. Fucking asshole. Keeping at me. Doing a job here. Hold on, what's that saying? Top hole pretzels? Pretzels and potato chips? Yo, get real. Is that your car, dude? Yo, if he jumps in that shit, I'm killing him. Okay. I don't know why, but for some reason I just had the urge to murder that person if that was his truck. But I want pretzels and potato chips. I don't eat either of those, though. Pretzels I'd eat. I eat pretzels. They're not, like, so unhealthy for you that you can't eat them. I'll eat a pretzel. Run her over. Get her in between those wheels and just run. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, fuck, me. guy, I'm driving here. Everyone clear. Clear out. I, 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 you didn't hear me beeping, fucking asshole. Okay, enough fun and games though. And as nice as this ride is. They just want to give me a ticket, that's okay. Yeah. If they show up, they can give me a ticket. I'm gonna take this car right here.
I get all of them. I get the other one. This one's got the soft top, but I'm gonna get the hard top. They just got hit. That blue car just ran into somebody. There we go. This looks more like a car I'd be driving 18 years ago. 17 years ago. 18 years ago? Ah, 2003 or 2. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Point is, is almost 20 years ago, I think this is the car I'd be driving pulling up to the final event. Anyways, prepare yourself. This is it. This is the end of the end. I don't, I'm just gonna pull right up in this bitch. I know what's about to go down. This part, I remember. I thought it was Polly the entire fucking time, though. Man, my memory did a little uh, fuckery with me. I thought it was Polly that was gonna be inside the gallery at the end, but it's not. It's Sam. Sam. Alright, man. Let's really do this one. Here we go. Salud. Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for at Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Damn. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. It's a shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. I guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. That's hard. That's a really tough thing, man. I thought it was Polly this entire time. Damn memory. I knew Sam was up to no good, but I always thought it was Polly that betrayed me in the end. Come to find out, it, I had it backwards. Well, hey man. That's good though, because that means I didn't technically know the ending. I thought I did. Where'd you go, Sam? We all think we know how it ends, but we don't. Ammo. Ammo. 
Business 28 is business, Tom. I know that you had a bottle from know that. Fucker. Fucking lucky. No more you friend test guys, Tom. No one you put him to sleep. I will <clears throat> Fuck is his gun? <laughs> like where the fuck is his gun? <laughs> I'm out of bullets. That was close. My health is a smidgen. Down over... Completely up ammo, okay. Swap it out. Stick your head up. Nope. Ain't getting that shit off on me, fucking asshole. No shit. Take those, thank you. I miss anything else while I was fucking fighting for my life over here? Yeah, some health. That'll come in handy. Thank you. Quick lap around the hall. Not seeing nothing. Anything else anyway. Alright, let's get to it. Fucking nice, Sam. Shouldn't have done what you did. Tom shouldn't have done what he did, but hey. Holy shouldn't have done what he did. Nobody should have done what anybody did, but hey. It is what it is. Here we are. There it is. Is it. Come on, you motherfucker. Oh, that was cool. Oh, never mind. I thought that was something else. I thought that the dude who I shot was still shooting his gun as he was dying, but it was someone behind him. Oh, well. That would have been cool, though. More cigarettes. Senior. One bullet. Let's get the Tommy. At least that's got more than a bullet. God, this game's gonna be so difficult. I'm fucking classic difficulty. I was playing it on classic difficulty and I had to put a change it because it was fucking difficult.
shit. Dude, what are you doing? Oh my god. That was a little bit of a fuck up, but... Alright. Suck on that, motherfuckers. Back to it. <clears throat> you still had respect for the dog. Hold this down. Tax. Fuck you, Sam. I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. Hmm. That's weird. There we go. Dude, take cover for fuck's sake. You are a to the family. God damn it. This mission was extremely difficult on the original. Not as tough as that fucking racing mission, though. Oh my god. Worst mission in any game ever. <laughs> it's just so difficult. You have to be the best racer in the world in this game. Running out of guys yet! about that? In exchange for your fucking frag grenade, asshole. Drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys.
Oh, he's bleeding good. Alright. Let's end this. Dude, on the original game, this dude had so much health. So much. I know. But I got some good years. So fuck you. Let's do this, Sam. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? Can you? you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the 
biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gonna eat, right? Even dirty cats. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. And that has to be enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say it was over? Not quite April Fools. A long time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done. Both good and bad. I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself. So I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness. But it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes, Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. As they say, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. might go over some people's heads, but not all of them. You know, on a serious note, <clears throat> I 
I used to think I would die young, but then I realized, you know, maybe I will make it to the point where my hair is gray and I'm old, skin is wrinkled. What sort of legacy do you leave behind? I'd say uh, they stayed true to the original while making it a very good remaster. I put it on the same level of uh, Resident Evil 2 quality remaster. What's another good remaster? Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil 1 and 2, really good remasters. 3 kind of sucked. Let's face it, 3 sucked. Resident Evil 3 remastered sucked. Resident Evil 1 and 2 were great though. Um. Mafia Remastered, amazing. If you haven't played the original, play it. This, the new one, the new one's the way to play it. It's good. Really good. And, uh... Reminds me a lot of the original, obviously. They stayed very true to it. Even the bullshit racing mission. That racing mission is bullshit. Still is bullshit. Salute. That's the last of the drink. I'll have to refill it. I think I got a little bit of alcohol left. Not the prohibition after all. Let's see if I recognize any names. Not a single one. Yeah, I don't recognize a single one of these voice actors, that's unfortunate. Okay, oh well. Hopefully I'll see him again in something else. I really liked, uh, I really liked Tommy's work and Polly's work. Polly I thought was a little goofy at first, but his character kind of comes into, uh, By the mid of the by mid game, his voice fits his character. It's a little awkward to hear at first, but it works for him really well. What else? I'll be playing uh, Mafia 2 remastered, of course, definitive edition, whatever you want to call it. As well, uh, I don't know when. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Cause uh, I don't remember two so well. Ironically, even though I played this game 18 years, 17, 18 years ago, I remembered it almost. Verbatim. The middle was very cloudy for me. The middle part. With Frank and uh, all that shit. Didn't really remember that stuff. Really, really remembered the beginning. Like the back of my hand because I played it so much. <clears throat> and um, the beginning of this game was like replaying the original 2003 version. 2002, 2003 version. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check myself, cause I need to know what the fuck. What year it came out in, so I can correct myself. Why is it so difficult to find?
That's crazy. I just want to... Uh, no? Dude, seriously. <laughs> I know it's O2 or O3. For fuck's sake. Not party game. You morons. See if the trilogy will tell me. Will it tell me when the original came out? It's got a 9.7 out of 10. Very well deserved. Proud of him. Very proud of him. Mafia 1. Let's see. Two thousand two, so it has been eighteen years. Holy fuck. I was ten years old. Wow. I was a ten year old little boy when I played this game for the first time. Think about that. You know, when I think about it, it makes me feel like, uh... <laughs> makes me feel a lot of things. I don't know if waste is the right word. Would I say I have a wasted life? It's a tough question to answer. So Mafia 2 and 3, but 2 first, obviously, uh, now that we've completed the first one. So, um, yeah, we'll probably play the second one. You know, honestly, I might buy it tonight, just start it up, just continue it right from here. I can download it quick, like that, so it'll only take a couple minutes, and then we just continue the story, because what happens next, well, this story ends 1930, uh, 1940, right? 1930? It, no, it was 1938 when he had to shoot up with Sam, and then he's an old man by the end, so another 10 years, I'd say. It was 1940. Uh, something. It's gotta be. When Tommy dies. This'll do it for me. Birthday, death. He died in 1951. September 25th, 1951. Born on April 5th, 1900. Damn, these fuckers get their information down pat. Gotta love fandom wikis and shit. <clears throat> Tommy was born in Sicily, April 5th, 1900. Yeah, we got a little bit of that when we were reading the notes at the end there, yeah? So. Anyway. It's weird. I can't seem to find, like, anything on the original game.
anyway. What next? You know, it did a special thanks like 20 minutes ago. You think it'd be done by now? It should finish now. <coughs> that it's at the licenses. I'm gonna do special thanks for last. Well, second to last, but you know, copyrights are always last. So here we go. 1996. For what? Must have been one of the softwares they used to create the game in O2. That's what I'd assume. Yeah, we don't promise that the software works, but if you find any bugs, let us know. I like that. That's nice. Almost 20 years later. And I'm still playing the same game. Have I made it anywhere? No? Of course, if I still had all the friends I had then, maybe... Maybe not. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's always gonna be this way. <laughs> I'm rambling. So thanks for watching, folks. I'm assuming you've all probably tuned out by now. Most people don't stick around for the credits. Of course. You know, people put a lot of work into this. Can't sit through the credits. I get it, these are copyright bits at the end here, so... Who doesn't? Who, who wants to read that shit? Not the point. Anyway. <sighs> what can you do? You can refuse. <sighs> Thank you all again for those who have watched this all the way through to the end. I'm gonna go check some stuff out about Mafia 2. I already have Mafia 3. I played Mafia 2 on the PlayStation 3, which is why I don't have it on the 4, but I will tonight, or in the morning, whenever I decide. I don't know if I want to play it tonight or in the morning, but it would be a nice segue right in, but hey. Vegas can't be serious. <sighs> well, I guess that's that. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'll catch you on the next one.